Good evening, everybody. This is Armando from the Castle Shave Company. I'm gonna do something that I've been meaning to do for a long time and uh, haven't been doing it, but I am going to do my first, my first straight shave on camera. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If not, wanna give a big shout out to CWS, Stray Razor Place on Facebook. You guys help me out a lot. Um, I don't, for some of you, you guys know that I'm brand new. I've been doing this since October of uh, 2017. Uh, got a few good things in. Um, I'm gonna be using different razors and uh, different soaps. Um, the whole nine yards. Today, I'm gonna be using Shave Mac Custom D01 28 millimeter knot. Um, this brush has been more than broken in. So what you guys are used to, this is not it. Um, this is very plush right now. As you can see, there's not as much backbone as what the Shave Max usually have the uh, reputation of being. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, soak it in my Castle Shave lather bowl. And today for soap, we're going to be using the Telltale Heart Set. Wanted to do this because I've only used it twice. First time didn't go so well. Second time went awesome. Um, got the matching aftershave and uh, and EDT to go with that. Um, we'll get to applying those later. Uh, wanted to show off uh, my Wade and Butcher nine eights for barber's use. Uh, dressed it up in African blackwood scales with a fox ivory wedge. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's start up. Just dip my brush in a little bit of water here. And I'm going to hit, hit the soap. I like to load this up nice and heavy because uh, it'll secure it. If I don't get too good of a lather, this will make sure I do. Water to my bowl and let's hit it up. I'm pretty messy, so excuse me. You're probably gonna see some water paint go on my rope. Just got out of the shower, so I'm nice and hydrated. I am gonna throw on a, a pre shave oil uh, just because it always helps to have extra protection even though I really don't need it. I just like it. Add a little bit more water in here. This thing is thirsty. I'll try to skip out the majority of uh, the lathering process. But she's getting pretty nice. She's getting whipped up very nicely. Uh, oh yeah, lots of suds, lots of suds. This is beautiful, beautiful. Wash my hands off a bit. Some of my trusted ProRasso White. Get it at any shopper's drug mart. Just want to let you guys know that I am from Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada. So if you don't have shopper's drug mart there, I'm sure there's another. I'm sure there's another pharmaceutical area that you guys can go to. Your local pharmacy, probably grocery store. You know, you can find it generally everywhere. Even on the net, I think they're like 12 bucks Canadian, which would probably be like, what? Maybe eight bucks American? Sure. Get that nice and scrubbed on, get the menthol coming out. All right, I already got my uh, nine eights shropped and ready. 
Let's start applying this bad boy. You guys gotta excuse me, I'm not gonna look into the camera. The, I've been trying to find, um, I've been trying to find a, um, a suction cup sort of thing, kind of like a GoPro that'll stick to the, stick to the mirror while I use the mirror. But uh, no luck so far. So I'm basically using something I got out of Best Buy. Uh, it's a little uh, thing that attaches to the ledge. Unfortunately, the ledge is nowhere near, nowhere near the mirror. So I'm trying to improvise here. Oh yeah, she goes on nice. And as you can see, you know, Everyone has this misconception of Shave Mac, like you're basically buying a paintbrush with a custom handle on it. Um, you know, if you guys actually use this brush, it really opens up. Gel tips are there. This thing is just phenomenal. Like, it's just so soft now, but yet it's still got the right amount of backbone. Look, you see, you can see she splays. than I anticipated. Great stuff though. Smells like cinnamon hearts. It's very interesting, very lively. Uh, works great with the menthol coming in, you know, with my pre-shave and all on it. I'm gonna clean up soon. I know I'm a little bit of a mess. Tell me how I got a fly floating around in my bathroom. I have no idea. Anyways, let's get this stuff going. Next time I'm gonna use our very own um, Green Earth Shave. Hopefully I'll get a aftershave from Sean Mullen once he um, restocks all of his retailers and knows all of his frosted is gone, which is great. Really happy for him. He's doing really well which is awesome. A lot of other guys out there that I gotta support too. You know, especially considering a lot of you guys are supporting me as well. Even by just watching this video, you're supporting me. You know, and I love it. I just wanna give back to you guys. Do a shave. And I also want you guys to communicate a little bit on this because like I said, I mean, I've been shaving since October of 2017. I'm no master, okay? I mean, I learned pretty quickly, I have to say, but I am no master. Anyways, here we go. I just put a new edge on this, on this 9.8. My God, she is so comfortable, but yet so sharp. I just love it. Like the way she feels. You guys are probably gonna see blood. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, it's just the way it is. I get weepers all the time. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna say I'm perfect. I think I just got one right now. I ain't scared of a little blood either, anyway. I mean, it's not like you're gonna get an exciting shave like this from a Mach 3. <laughs> I can tell you right now, this is a hell of a lot more fun than using those cheesy Mach 3s, Mach 4, Mach 5, Mach 6. Whatever the hell they go up to now. I'm only 32 and I don't even remember how many different, how many different versions of these Gillettes that they have come out. I can tell you now about my father, the uh, vintage 
Gillette, uh, what's it called, Fat Boy. It has a red dot on the numbers, so if I'm wrong, don't, don't hesitate to correct me. I'm no expert in DEs. Uh, I do sell some of them, uh, but brand new, I do not sell vintage. My stray razors are mainly vintage, and they are gorgeous. I do not sell what is not gorgeous, in my opinion. Uh, and I have a serious infatuation with the way to butcher. That's a little bit about me. This edge is just amazing. It is so comfortable, it just glides right down, but she sings to you. I love when a razor sings, but don't get me twisted. Doesn't mean that I want a Tears of Zard, you know, Ladandi or uh, Evid Sonat, which I have both, and I won't even use them because they just simply drive me nuts. And the edges that they hold are just not to my satisfaction. Uh, doesn't mean that they are a bad company. I just don't like them personally. I like my old English Sheffield steel. It's softer, holds a sharper edge, not as long, but it's a hell of a lot more comfortable, and that's just my thing. Anyways, let's hit up our second pass. I don't do my goat and my mustache hair yet till the last pass. So just forewarning you, you guys are probably saying, but you still have some on your face. Nah, nah, nah. I don't touch it until it's done. I go over it over and over again, make sure it stays moist and nice and, you know, whatever. Hydrated. Just get this stuff on. I mean, this telltale heart is just it's a bomb. Like, you know, like if there's a set to look forward to, you know, aside from aesthetics, I mean, she really does lather up just great. You know, you got look at her. Look at all the suds just pouring off. It's amazing. You gotta excuse me again. I am looking into the mirror, and uh, that's because uh, it's really hard to use the camera on the iPhone, because that's what I'm taking your video on. Hopefully you guys will watch it. Really hope you guys will watch it, because you know what? I could use whatever tips you guys have, you know, uh, tips on, you know, like I have issues with all of my neck area grows this way. So what I have to do is I have to go on my, on my across the grain pass, which I usually do last because it's basically like an against the grain. Um, I have to actually, I go this way on my neck, on my third pass, and I go, I try, well, I go downwards this way, but if I need to, I'll come up and I'll go this way because they, the hair all grows this way. Um, that's just something I learned how to do. Not saying that you guys have to do it. I mean, I would have preferred if I could just do a simple three pass, you know, and be done with it. Well, I don't know why. I love to bust my razors out and shave, so. If I can extend the length of time that I do shave, I would. Straightforward, because I absolutely love it. I know it's something that's, you know, men grew up, you, it always had to be rushed. You know, we're just trying to bust out the doors and get to work. It's great. It's awesome. But for me, I'd rather do it, I only shave what, maybe two to three times a week max. I just, I can't, I can't be bothered. Oh yeah, look at that. You can barely even hear her. I mean, she's singing, but it's like I already got so close on my first pass. that she is just, she doesn't even need to talk.
beautiful edge though. I use an Azuku uh, Asagi. Uh, got it from Maxim at JapaneseNaturalStones.com. You know, one of those things. Really hard to find a trusted dealer, especially when it comes out to JNAT. Really wanted to buy from Keith Johnson, but uh, he makes it adamant that he doesn't want to deal with the Canadian. Canadian side so you know it is what it is you deal with who you can All right in my case it was JapaneseNaturalStones.com which is a great website you know we got my Azuko from there she wasn't cheap but uh she definitely kicks the crap out of all my synthetic stones, I'll tell you that much. I also had lots of good people help me. Got a little bit of help from Lynn Abrams, you know, Dr. Matt, Jason Underwood, Keith Johnson helped me out too a little bit here and there. Um, I've been in and about talking to everybody generally. And, you know, it's really nice it is really nice to communicate with all these guys. You know, they've been in the area of wet shaving for a lot longer than I have. And I do put a great edge on, but I wouldn't say it's perfect. Like, you know, half these guys, like Jessix Gun from, uh, from uh, the Forum Damn Fine Shave. I'm all over the place. Talk to everybody. I try to give some people advice. Hey, you take it, you take it. You don't, don't worry. I'm not offended. Anyways, nope, not gonna touch that yet. Sorry, guys. Anyways, gonna go for my third pass and still lots and lots and lots of lather. Like, just insane. Like, do you see that? That is just, I barely even had to scoop that out of my bowl. It was just on top of the, on top of the, uh, oh, the brush. And look at that. Look at the way it gets pasted on. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see this is, once again, it's a Shave Mac D01. I mean, I know you guys are used to these extra hard bristles, but just wait. You know, these things just break open one day and you're just getting you're just getting wicked suds out of these brushes these and i really do have a uh a thing for uh, artisans that do their own brushes sorry they're brush knots like they actually hand tie them i feel like you get a lot more you know it's, it's their time i guess and um their attention to quality Whereas these Chinese guys, you know, they just stick a whole bunch of hair together and send it out. You know, I wouldn't say they really even care for quality control. Whereas if you buy a knot from Scott, which all of his declaration brushes are over, you cannot buy them right now. I'm sure he'll do something again next year, maybe a B6, but the B5s are gone. Morris and Fondren is there, um, but they ship from the UK. Still nice. He's hand tying everything. Like, how much better can you get, right? Um, what else is there? The Varley, they're nice, but I think they're stupid expensive. Not worth the money for me. I'm just if I'm gonna spend three hundred Canadian or three fifty. I want it the way I want it. I don't want to pick from your website, sorry. Just like my my uh, my razors. I do them the way you know everyone would like them. Uh, they 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 are meant to last. You know, plus they're meant to sustain sustain um, the look of its age. So I try to go with the style that the uh, razor came in. Some of them not so much. Some of them I kind of change 
to the bigger style razor look. Um, but, I mean, it's there. It's there. You guys check it out. Castle Shave on Etsy. That is. Yeah. So, this is the against the grain. Uh, this is the one where, you know, I have quite a bit of issues with. Always cut myself on this one. Never fails. Never fails. Put that blade off. Please excuse me if the camera angle is not to your liking. Um, like I said, I mean, it's not stuck to my mirror and uh, I still do need the mirror. I'm not like the sort of cheese there that's able to uh, do a shave with a blindfold on. That's just not where I'm at right now. Um, I'd say I'm good to get a nice shave, but uh, to do a blindfolded shave, man, you're nuts. Thank you, come again. It's just one of those things. You know? And you know what, guys, don't be scared of these. They are not bad, especially when they're sharpened. You know, a lot of these guys are, uh, you're buying razors but you need to watch and make sure that the razor is shave ready, okay? And you know what, even shave ready does not mean that it's going to be shave ready to your preference. You gotta learn, you know? Sometimes, some people just want comfort. Other people, they want that edgy aggressiveness. I personally like comfort. You know, it, it may, not, may not be everybody's forte, but I want that creamy, buttery, you know, cortical or J nat edge. That's what I want. That's what I put on every last one of my razors. And I don't stop until I get it. You know, that could be a good or a bad thing, but realistically, let me tell you that I really don't care. As long as my razor is comfortable and can get through the growth you have in a beard, I'm totally happy, bro. Totally happy. I don't stretch too much either. Just because I'm not comfortable with it. I do in some areas, in the neck. But, uh, not, uh, not on across the brain. Anyways, here's the hard part. So let's wipe this baby down a little bit. You can see that baby cut, right? She is sharp. Very sharp and clean. Look at that. So clean. A lot of guys tell me I'm nuts for even doing this type of a pass. Whatever. You now, guys got a little bit of fear knives. Have your fear. I ain't scared of shit. Hopefully I'm gonna get to do my next shave. That is good. Love it. Um, just give me a sec to wash my face here.
So I did get an okay shave. I mean, I got a good shave. Most guys are happy with the shave that I just got. But, I feel just a little bit over here. So, over here is okay, but uh, here, not too happy with it. So, in the camera, I'm gonna do a dry rub. Yes. Done and done. Love it. Beautiful. Sorry, let's switch that around for you guys. FBU for barbers use. Nine eights. I would have to say she's a half hollow to a full hollow. No. Definitely half hollow for me. Anyways. She shaves so good. Amazing. Love it. Uh, nothing wrong with, with that kind of a result. Oh, she is one of my favorites to use. And uh, I mainly used her today because I just put the new edge on her. Alex Gilmore was kind enough to send me a brand new Tomo, which was very nice of him. Gave me a nice matching Tomo, whereas before I was using more or less a medium grit type um, type of um, what's it called uh, Tomo um, wasn't matching. Absolutely, you know it is what it is. Uh, it did build up a great slurry, um, just not. Uh, I needed a finer grit slurry just so that I could get the edge that I truthfully wanted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this bad boy. Now, I gotta be careful with this. Oh, nope, I didn't. Anyways, uh, I gotta be careful with this. Reason being is because it doesn't got the traditional stoppage area that the uh, rest of the uh, aftershaves have. It has just like an open spout. And so the problem where this lies is that you have to use it, put it back on the stand, work it into your face and then close it just so you don't drop the bottle or spill excess uh, aftershave. Almost reminds me of Christmas time, you know? But it's got that aftershave, like, just changes it just enough so that it's great. Yeah. You know? Love it. I got so much stuff here. You know, if I can keep doing these videos, you guys are gonna get to see some really awesome razors that I get restored. Uh, a lot of my guys restore, and then uh, I do some of the restores. Um, I hone. Um, Got custom straps. Um, now, here you got Ezra Arthur, which I'm sure you guys are all fond of. Great, great strop. This one, same job, same material. It's got, I did a bigger O ring so that way you can hang it on those uh, optimal uh, types of. Uh, areas because sometimes you know that hole is just not big enough to put it on the area that you need it for i hang it off of a towel rack and i store it in my closet so that way i don't have to worry about any uh any excess water damage uh moisture or any of that stuff 
Anyways, guys, so I'm going to clean up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you had a wonderful shave with me. Uh, hope you guys have a great Sunday night. And hopefully I'll get to see you again next week. Thanks, guys. And don't forget, visit the Castle Shave on Etsy. Take a look at her stuff. You're not going to find anything like it on eBay. Have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Bye.